hi everyone hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel in this video i'm going to talk about how data ingestion works and this will be the third video of the entire series that i'm going to create for siem solutions itself now generally speaking when it comes to understanding how data is ingested to siem solution there are three different methods which will be supported by most of the siem solutions the very first one is agents, then you have data ingestion through files, and then you have data ingestion through APIs. Now, if I talk about the first one, which is agents, imagine there is a machine from which you want to capture logs. Now, this could be either Windows or Linux or any other OS as well. In this case, you will install an application or software or agent on this particular machine and this agent will capture data and forward that data to the centralized repository of your SIEM solution. Typically speaking, this agent type is generally termed as connectors or forwarders or agents. So forwarders is the term which has been used in Splunk However, in Microsoft Sentinel, it is agent and the agent name is Azure Monitor Agent. The other scenario can be where machine A and machine B is forwarding data to machine C and then machine C forwards all the data to the centralized repository of your SIEM solution. And in this kind of implementation, this agent which is installed on machine C is typically termed as collector as well as they can be directional flow as well for data so for example there could be a sim solution where let's say the collector that you have installed on this particular machine which is machine c is querying data from machine a and machine b and the other way around is machine a and machine b will forward data to machine c and then machine c will forward the data to centralized repository in either of these two scenarios this machine or this agent typically speaking which is installed on this machine is called collector this kind of architecture is where this machine or this agent is termed as collector machine or let's say collector is installed on a specific machine altogether that's how a typical interaction happens whereas this one is typically termed as connectors or more precisely just agents okay so while you are evaluating a seam solution make sure that you ask this question uh, with your vendor that how many agents are required is connector and collector these are two different agents altogether or there is just one agent that can act as both connector as well as collector okay now for all obvious reasons you should choose the one uh, where there is only one specific agent which is required because the answer to this is very simple it will reduce a lot of administrative tasks for you for example if you have two agents then you have to plan update management for two different agents altogether however if you have just one we know how easy it will be as compared to even if one single agent is getting ad as an add-on okay now you can also ask this with your vendor that whether the agents support automatic update or not okay so these are the three things that you have to keep in mind the very first one is how many agent types are there whether a single agent can act as a collector or connector or not and then whether the agents support automatic update or not now when it comes to microsoft it has one single agent named as azure monitor agent this one agent can act as both connector as well as collector also azure monitor agent supports automatic updates now let's talk about the second scenario which is data ingestion through files imagine there are n number of endpoints in your enterprise and they have an application installed on on them and then this application is actually hosted let's say on a specific server altogether and all the application specific logs which will be useful from a security standpoint is actually saved in this particular location in a specific file which is log.txt just assume this hypothetical scenario however your application does not have the capability to ingest logs directly to your sim solution in this case what you can do is you can install the connector or collector whatever your vendor refers to 
on this particular machine and then on this particular connector you can define a configuration that this connector should query this particular log extract the data and then get it ingested to your seam solution now again this is a very typical capability uh, which exists in most of the solutions so irrespective of which solution type you are using if it is slightly a newer one then this capability will be there for sure so this is the example of data ingestion through files in microsoft sentinel azure monitor agent is used for data collection through files and configuration is pushed through data collection rules now let's talk about the third one which is data ingestion through apis imagine you have developed a web application and now you want to offer this as a capability in your solution itself that i will get all the data ingested from my application perspective to some centralized repository in this case now let's say if you're using a decent siem solution they will offer you the capability of data ingestion through apis so all you need again is client id and client secret or a dedicated service account once you have all these details then you can send uh, the authorization request to your siems authentication endpoint and then you will post the actual payload to the data ingestion endpoint and from there the data will be ingested to your siems centralized repository now when it comes to microsoft sentinel it offers you the capability of data ingestion through apis the only condition is data payload must be json formatted so this was all about knowing how data ingestion works in an SIEM solution. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how exactly data is stored in an SIEM solution. So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community.